Hi everybody, welcome to John Creator. Today we are going to see, we are going to model a tennis ball. If you are very new to this channel, subscribe the channel and if you like the video, share it with your friends. If you are very new to the modeling, see my older videos for the beginners. After opening the blender, press Shift A and create a cube. Go to edit mode and select the edge selection. Go to the wireframe. Select these corners, edges like this. So it should come shape like this. After that, press Ctrl B to create a bevel edges. So I make the bevel like this. And go to object mode, press Ctrl 3 to apply a modifier. Now go to the solid mode, the box look like this. So after this, go to the add modifier tool, select a cast and make the factor as 1 to make it a sphere look. Now you can able to see the sphere look is came but when we go to edit mode it's you can able to see the edges and flow it's looking the same but in object mode it's looking so this object we are going to convert to a mess and structs now go to the object go to the apply section and select the visual geometry to mesh so i created the mess and geometry go to the edit mode now we can able to see we can able to see whatever is required now i use this and select these two so these two we are going to make it as the edge shape right press three on the keyboard for the face selection select like this and alt s2 you can make it down like this go to edit mode press ctrl 3 to bevel so it gives the shape like this so this is the shape we are going to give for the ball or we can do one more option also I will guide you what to do you can press U to extrude and yet use your control key sorry press alt yes to scale slightly down and press control 3 to bevel so you can make like this also the object but I feel the first one is looks good better than this so I am going to do the same alt yes sorry I undo it so I selected like this alt yes and I'm going to give the depth like this and go to the edit mode press ctrl 3 to make it bevel you can able to see the shape has came but it looks very uh, more so I'm going to reduce it okay so this shape is good okay so now this ball we are going to make it as here tennis ball we are going to give a little bit small small uh, hair particles so let's go for the go to the texture paint and here change it to the vertex paint and go to the fall off and make it flat and then go to the face selection so now you can able to select the on the faces so before that what you have to do go to edit mode and select this face don't forget to do that now go to the vertex paint and face selection I make it the black color and now we can able to see you can make the paint so I'm going to make the radius a little bit bigger. So I'm going to give the same for this. So actually this is the masking we are doing for this. It's not painting. It's a masking we are doing for the ball. So I made the masking for this. Press control space to go out from this and go to the layout go to this green triangle now after doing this you can able to see this uv map and vertex group so this is the name is the mask color so i'm going to guide you how to do that next step 
go to the shading to apply a color for this and <coughs> select this and create a new slot and I'm going to delete this I have created a textures for this using a gim page so I hope if you see my older videos you can able to create the text and uh, background which is white and black background to use for the word purpose I just open a recent file what I have created so I have created like this the texture is required for us okay so I can give any name whatever it's required for you so after doing this press shift a and search for the image texture select this and open I'm going to give the what I have ready the texture color so you can able to see here so this is the thing I have made it so before that we can go for the UV editing we can edit these things go to the edge selection and turn off this subdivision in edit mode select these two it has been selected like this I press F5 to merge sim or press E sorry press alt E sorry right click and mark a sim I have added a shortcut clear sim and mark sim so I make it undo because what I have did I don't know or now five so now after doing this select all press U and unwrap it so it will be unwrapped like this select this press A to select all or to rotate like this I go for the material preview but still we not connected anything so I go to the shading okay fine so I will align it afterwards so first we can connect the coloring for us press shift A and search for the diffuse color and press shift A search for the mix shader sorry not a mix shader press shift A search for the mix RGB so this is going to support us how to do that I guide you for right click sorry shift A and go to the input and select the attribute so which is required for us here and make it I'm going to see make it as COL so we can able to see it here semantic groups the color name is COL so texture paint I'm go sorry shading I go and I going to the make the first color as slightly dark like this this one I am going to give it as this color and I am going to color I am going to connect it to the fat color this one going to here and I am going to connect to the subsurface so now you can able to see the color has came like this so this is going to be a little bit white I think so so I am going to move it a little bit up so now looks better so sometimes if the white comes sometimes the little grey comes so I make it pure white so it will look uh, good uh, yeah this looks better now this one we are going to make it as uh, one more thing I'm going to give a name for this ball how to do that so using this texture we are going to do that press shift A and search for the mix shader and connect this color to fact and this BFCP spider to here this one I am going to connect it here so now you can able to see its JC is coming but it's coming all black because the we have connected wrongly you have to make it in second shadow now it looks fine so this one what I am going to do is select this press shift D to duplicate I am going to connect to this the JC shadow for this I am going to give it as color as orange I am going to make it pure orange okay yeah this looks better look now this font looks very big I am going to align that go to the texture dot go to the UV editing select everything and yes to scale you can view it here yes to scale 
and G to move, we can able to see, you can align it like this. So now you can able to see the JC has came small, but it's not aligned properly. So I make it correctly. Okay, fine. Now it looks better. So this, and even though I feel like it's, uh, I need to come a little bit bigger than JC. So I make it uh, like this. Uh, looks fine. And I save this file. I'm overwriting my existing file. Save it. Now I'm going to the layout which we are going to do is we are going to give the next section now. Go to edit mode, select everything using a face selection. Sorry, you can go to the vertex group only, not a problem. Add a new group, vertex group, and click the assign and go to the face selection and it's select on the circle select which is not required for us. So I'm going to select these two faces and I'm going to click remove. Now when I go to the weight paint mode, you can able to see it has been assigned like this. So I select everything, assign it, again select these two and remove it. Now go to the weight paint mode. You can able to see it comes like this. I go to the object mode back and I again I go to the weight paint. Okay, fine. We have added the weight paint mode. After doing this, so we can go to the uh, material preview. It comes like this. And we can apply a hair for this for a spongy thing spongy look so i go to this and i turn on my studio more thing that studio thing i have order uh, i have uh, already given the demo for this and i move it like this sorry okay fine i go to the camera view press zero and go to yen and go to the view and lock the camera view and unzoom, unzoom it using a scroll mouse and you can make it like this and then i go to the render view and i'm going to see how it looks and uh, still i feel like it's not uh, came correctly Okay, go for solid view to for the better uh, make sense. Okay, I hope this feels better. Okay, fine. Then I press. I had undo the camera key then I'm going to zoom it like this okay, I'm going to uh, make it like this I'm going to design here you can go to the object mode here so here we can select this ball and go to the particle system and add a particle and select her go to the advance and make it her thousand is okay and the centimeter which is very long i'm going to give it as 2.5 i feel 2.5 is uh, very small so i make it as three better and the segment make it six or make it seven and go to the physics one by one we are going to add a brownie so I add a brownie for this. Okay, it looks the bend like this. So it looks like this. And go for rendering. Sorry. Go for the child. So that is let it be simple. Hair shape. Standard or a uh, little bit up or down. Okay, make it zero. That is uh, okay. Which uh, we should not uh, edit that that diameter scale. You can make it 0 0.1 then this is the basic thing has been finished for this 
before that we have missed out one go to the vertex group you can able to see the hair is coming inside the where the hair is not required it's coming in this patch you can able to see so this one we are going to clear that's the reason we have created the vertex group density group length group select it now you can able to see the hair is not coming in inside the thing so it's missed out there so then after doing this now this is in this mode is in uh, now in uh, material uh, preview so you can able to see the hair is coming like this okay fine now we are going to add one more particle system go to hair select advance and that one we have given 2.3 uh, no so 2.8 i give this sorry uh, that uh, this one segment let it be seven and the centimeter is 2.8 and here i am going to uh, i zoom it a little bit and here the thousand which one is there i am going to give it as 3000 and go to the simple and go to the interpolant So this is the way the ball looks, the color comes, so we, I go to the zero and I go to in a, do it in a render view, rendering. So it will come like this. I hope you couldn't be able to see properly. I go. I increase the strength of the lights. Make it twenty. Okay, now it looks better. So in render view, it comes like this. okay then i go to the hair again i go to the particle systems and i go for the edit and here also i give brownie to a double zero one so it looks a little better okay i go for the solid mode so it's looking little better finally we can go for the further uh, thing display amount make it 20 Rendering amount 100 is okay, fine. And go for the roughness and uniform change it to 0 0.2. And the random size make it as that also 0 0.01. So it comes like this the hair then go for the density and add a group and a length so now it has been came correctly the hair is came correctly then after doing this that random also let it be fine okay finally i hope we have uh, selected everything i make it let me go for the render view and uh, see how it looks and we can wait for the complete thing okay instead of seeing this the best way to see it press f12 and see the rendering the box one or two then we will get some clarity in that okay yeah it looks fine okay finally our rendering has been uh, ready so the ball is ready with the final object and uh, I close this one so this is the part it's getting completed 
I'm I go for the material preview so that it looks like this but here you can not see the quality of that because it's not in render view I go to the render view now so this is the quality which it comes but here it doesn't look nice while we render only we come to the actual clarity so I put the rendering for this once it's completed we can continue with this so our rendering is going to complete so this is the thing we have created the ball so this is the quality I have given us that's why it's given for making fast I have given the quality less so it's coming like that so I'm going to uh, make it this ball this uh, center color I have given pure white that's the reason background also white it doesn't match it with it so I'm going to give a little bit darkness for that I'm going to give the final rendering in the main image uh, video file okay guys bye bye